And at this time, ladies and gentlemen, we of Northfield Park take the greatest pride and pleasure in presenting to you the starting field for the 17th Battle of Lake Erie free-for-all by invitation. These are Pacers going a mile for a personal $150,000. All Mike Clifford and Herbert Siegel, John Fedora and Lee Wasserman, all of New York, carries a lifetime mark of 149 and 4, earnings over 318000 Trained by Mark Harder, driven by Brett Miller, one is J.K. Bandit. Owned by Dean Davis and James Snyder of Wooster, Ohio, is trained by Kurt Sugg, carries a lifetime best 52 and 2, earnings over 422,000 career. Is driven by Yannick Gingross, number two, Royal Art. All my Surin, a Hofsepian of Palm Beach, Florida, trained by Rodney Lorenzo, has a lifetime mark 151, earnings over 195.9. Driven tonight by Kevin Wallace, number three, Joey Zaza. All my Gail Nigro, Troy McDougall. Of Pennsylvania, Jacob Ramsburg of Maryland, a lifetime mark 150 and one, earnings over 253,000. Trained by Troy McDougal, driven by Brian Sears for Western Millennium. On my I've Got Life Stable, Old Forge, Pennsylvania, a mark of 150 and four, career earnings over 248,000. Trained by William Robinson and driven by Jim Pantoliano. Five, I've got life. All my Alvin Jacobson of New York, Sidney Corn of Edison, New Jersey. A mark of 49 and four, earnings over 740,000. Trained by Noel Daly and driven by Ronnie Pierce, number six, Peruvian Hanover. All by Samuel Jacobs of Dover and Charles Burris Jr. of Clayton, Delaware. A lifetime mark of 151 and 1. Has banked 324,000 plus. Is trained by Jeff Cox, driven by Greg Grismore, seven Cam Best Prints. And completing this year's battlefield, defending champion, who is owned by Martin Sharp of Lawrence, New York, has a lifetime mark 148 and 4. The richest horse in the history of this sport at 3.9 million career. Trained locally by Kelly O'Donnell, driven by a Walter Case Jr. Number eight, Gallo Blue Chip. There you have the starting field for this year's War on the Shore, the $150,000 Battle of Lake Erie. Wager now. And here they come for the 17th annual War on the Shore here at Northfield Park. Ready, aim, fire! It's Western Millennium, first delay between horses. Now Royal Art moves up on the inside on the rail, says J.K. Bennett around the turn to go. And as they head to the backside, it's Royal Art out there with that early lead. Now right up on the outside of challenge, Western Millennium. And at the rail, J.K. Bennett third, Joey Zaza fourth. Gallo Blue Chip got away racing fifth, racing in there sixth. I've got a life along the outside. Peruvian Hanover, the trailer. Cam Best Prince at opening quarter, 26 and three. They round the fire turn the first time. And as they make their swing, it's Western Millennium now on top and now roaring on the outside. Here he comes, Gallo Blue Chip. Moves right up on the pace setter. Into the lane they come now. And they start down to the halfway point of the race. At the rail, fighting to hold that lead. Western Millennium right alongside Gallo Blue Chip. Royal Art third, moving up outside. I've got life. Off the rail, Peruvian Hanover. Then is J.K. Bennett, Cam Best Prince, Joey Zaza the half. 54 and 4. They're double tiered in their payoff half mile as they swing to the backside. Western Millennium battles back to regain that lead three quarters of a length. On the outside, keeping that pressure on. Gallo Blue Chip. I've got life is out there three wide. In on the rail is Royal Art. Up on the outside, Peruvian Hanover is now looking four wide for Ron Pierce. They're over at three quarters and 123. On the turn, coming home. 
It's Western Millennium leading the Battle of Lake Erie with Brian Sears by a length and a half. Now from the outside, Ron Pierce and Peruvian Hanover in on the rail. Royal Art and Yannick Gingras in the stretch. They're in heartbreak lane now on a drive for the wire. And bringing him down, Western Millennium is fighting to hold it. On the outside, Peruvian Hanover. Now Cam Best Prince with one last effort. Peruvian Hanover takes the battle in one, 52 and one. Parading back to the winner's circle, you have the official winner of the 2002 Battle of Lake Erie here at Northfield Park. Number six, Peruvian Hanover, pacing that mile in one, 52 and one. Recording his third victory of the year. He's a four-year-old bay horse by life sign out of Plum Peachy by Ideal Society. His New York and New Jersey owned by Alvin I. Jacobson and Sidney Korn, trained by Noel Daly and driven tonight by Mr. Ron Pierce. Trackside making the trophy presentation of this year's battle champion. We have the chairman of Northfield Park Associates, Mr. Brock Milstein, accompanied by President Myron Charna. And now we're going to head down to the winner's circle to Dave Bianconi and Mr. Ron Pierce. All right, Greg, I'm joined by Ron Pierce. Just drove uh, Peruvian Hanover to a uh, thrilling victory in our 17th annual Battle of Lake Erie. Ron drove at Freehold Raceway in New Jersey today, made the trip in uh, quite successfully, and quite a trip out there on the track, Ron. You had to go four wide down the back stretch. Yeah, geez, we were kind of rubbing the outside fence, weren't we? <laughs> you really were. Take me through the race. A lot of speed in there, Ron. You knew you probably wouldn't get away anywhere near the front. Were you happy with you, where you were like early in the race? Yeah, it seemed like uh, things was going pretty good. Uh, um, I had a chance to get on Gallo's back there uh, right, past, right as we straightened up down the back. And uh, he took off and Greg got out or uh, who is it? Uh, yeah, Jim got out in front of us there. So we just followed him around and he made for good live cover. And I added my horse further. We went the more he swelled up. So I just uh, tipped him off Jim's back going down, down the back stretch and he, he took off. Yeah, Gallo Blue Chip and uh, I've Got Life were in front of you. They were live for a while, but they started really folding up past the three quarters. You popped them out four wide. This horse hasn't been on a half mile track in a while. Did that worry of making a, a move like that? Not really. He's a pretty handy horse. You know, he's pretty durable, so I, I really wasn't worried about it. And the way he felt, he felt great. Ron, this horse has been chasing the best in the business all summer, Real Desire and company. He's won a couple of eliminations, but no uh, finals. This has to feel good to finally win uh, you know, a major stakes event with him. Yeah, it does. Um, a couple of the uh, finals there, well, the one final in the, um, the Breeders' Crown, going 650000 uh, The horse was super that day. I just, I just didn't drive him very good. Now, Ron, uh, this horse uh, could have a career as a stallion. Do you know if they plan to, Noel plans to continue racing him as a five-year-old? I think he does. Uh, Noel feels this horse is going to get better and better with age. Well, uh, we'd sure love to have you back next year. And, Ron, always a pleasure to have you here at Northfield. Thanks for making the trip. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks.